For years, the F-35 Lightning II was the gold standard in fighter jets, stealthy, advanced, and seemingly untouchable. But now, a new rival has emerged from China, the J-35. This isn't just a copy, it's a bold, twin-engine statement that's turning heads worldwide. The J-35's debut at the 2024 Zhuhai Air Show revealed a polished, carrier-ready stealth fighter, signaling a major shift in global air power. Unlike the F-35, the J-35's rapid development shows China's ability to turn concepts into reality at breakneck speed. The era of uncontested American air dominance is over. The competition is heating up. Is the J-35 a true match for the F-35? That's the billion-dollar question. This isn't just about dogfights. It's about factories, technology and influence. Buckle up. The battle for the skies has a new contender. The J-35's journey began as the FC-31, a private project by Shenyang Aircraft Corporation, one of China's leading aviation companies. The FC-31 was envisioned as a cutting-edge stealth fighter designed to showcase Chinese engineering talent and compete on the global stage. The project was initially aimed at the export market, hoping to attract international buyers and establish China as a major player in advanced fighter technology, but despite its promise, the FC-31 was initially overlooked at home. That changed when China's Navy, searching for a next-generation stealth fighter for its growing fleet of aircraft carriers, took notice of the design's potential. The FC-31 was reborn as the J-35, extensively redesigned for carrier operations. Engineers equipped it with folding wings, reinforced landing gear, and advanced avionics to meet the demanding requirements of naval aviation. Not long after, a land-based variant emerged, specifically tailored for the Air Force, further expanding the jet's role within China's military. The J-35's transformation from a commercial flop to a military centerpiece is a testament to China's growing ability to adapt, innovate and turn challenges into opportunities for advancement. By 2024, the J-35 was no longer just an export hopeful. It had become a symbol of China's military ambition and technological progress, proudly displayed at national parades and international defense expos. This remarkable evolution highlights China's willingness to invest heavily, iterate rapidly, and turn early setbacks into strategic assets that strengthen its position on the world stage. The J-35 is living proof that China's aviation industry has truly come of age, capable of producing world-class fighter jets that rival those of established powers. It's not just a jet, it's a bold declaration of China's intent to shape the future of military aviation. Side by side, the F-35 and J-35 reveal two distinct design philosophies, each shaped by the unique priorities and strategic visions of their nations. These jets are more than just machines. They are flying symbols of how America and China approach the future of aerial warfare. The F-35 relies on a single powerful engine and excels at data fusion, acting as a flying command center. Its cockpit is a hub of information, using data from multiple sources to give pilots unmatched situational awareness. This jet is designed to coordinate with allies, share information instantly, and dominate the digital battle space. The J-35, with its twin engines, prioritizes speed, range, and redundancy, especially vital for carrier operations. Its design reflects a focus on survivability and the ability to operate far from home bases, supporting China's growing naval ambitions and need for power projection. Both jets are stealthy, but the F-35's edge is its advanced sensors and battlefield networking, honed over a decade of real-world experience and constant upgrades. Its ability to detect threats before being seen is a game-changer. The J-35 may have the advantage in raw power and possibly super cruise, allowing it to sustain supersonic speeds without afterburners. But the F-35's strength is in seeing and striking first, often before the enemy even knows it's there. It's not just about which jet is better, it's about which is better for the mission at hand. Each aircraft brings unique strengths to the table, tailored to the doctrines and needs of its air force. The F-35 is a versatile, networked workhorse. The J-35 is a robust, agile challenger. Both are pushing the boundaries of what's possible in modern air combat. America bets on information dominance and seamless integration. China bets on power, reach and survivability. 
These choices reflect deeper national strategies and visions for the future. The real test, when these philosophies clash in the same sky, each pilot relying on their jet's strengths and their own training to gain the upper hand. The outcome will shape the future of air combat. As these two giants compete, the world is watching, and the stakes have never been higher. The fight for air superiority isn't just about jets, it's about resources. Behind every advanced fighter, there's a hidden battle for the materials that make them possible. China controls the world's supply of rare earths, especially samarium, essential for the powerful magnets in modern fighters. These rare earths are the backbone of cutting-edge avionics engines and stealth technology. In 2025, China tightened exports, forcing Western defense firms to seek special licenses for these critical materials. Suddenly, global supply chains were thrown into uncertainty, and production schedules faced unexpected delays. This move slows F-35 production, while China's J-35 program faces no such hurdles. The West's most advanced jets are now at the mercy of foreign policy decisions beyond their control. China's grip on rare earths is a strategic masterstroke, giving it leverage over rivals and a smoother path to mass-producing advanced jets. It's not just about having resources, it's about controlling the flow. The West's dependence on Chinese materials is now a glaring vulnerability. Every jet built is a reminder of this reliance, and every delay is a strategic win for Beijing. The competition isn't just about who builds the best jet, it's about who can build them at scale, and who can keep their assembly lines moving when tensions rise. China's resource advantage is changing the rules of the game, shifting power dynamics in the global defense industry. The F-35's supply chain is exposed, vulnerable to disruption at any moment. The J-35 is built without compromise, a symbol of China's growing self-reliance and strategic foresight. The F-35 dazzles on paper, but reality is messier. Its single engine generates immense heat, straining the cooling system and limiting future upgrades. Plans for a new engine were scrapped due to cost, forcing patchwork fixes. Supply chain woes, worsened by China's rare earth controls, are delaying crucial upgrades. High maintenance costs and reliability issues mean fewer jets are mission ready. As the J-35 accelerates, the F-35's technological lead is shrinking. The F-35 remains formidable, but its vulnerabilities are now impossible to ignore. The J-35 isn't just a military threat, it's a game changer in the global arms market. The F-35's high price and political strings left many countries searching for alternatives. China is filling that gap, offering the J-35 to nations like Pakistan who are eager for advanced tech without Western restrictions. This strategy strengthens China's alliances and erodes Western influence. For many, the J-35 is a ticket to fifth generation capability once out of reach. The global balance is shifting as more countries gain access to stealth fighters. Western air forces can no longer assume technological superiority. China is selling more than jets, it's selling influence. The skies are now truly contested. We're witnessing the dawn of a new era in air power. The F-35's reign is challenged by a credible, rapidly advancing rival. The J-35's rise signals a shift in industrial, technological and strategic power. This rivalry is about more than hardware, it's about resources, alliances and global influence. The old monopoly is gone, a multipolar competition has begun. The race for air dominance is now wide open, the rules have changed and the outcome is uncertain. The future of the skies will be written by this new rivalry.